Hello everyone, it's Ranina here and welcome back to Skyrim. So last time we defeated two vampires here in Windhelm. Uh, we have still a quest that we need to do. If you look at our quest log, oh, here we are already. Um, we have to return the valuables to Vex because we broke in the house last time. I'm not going to do that right away because there is still... I think there was another one. Oh! Well, since I did these ones at the same time, they were both completed. Even though I didn't steal the 500 gold invaluables from the house I was supposed to, it still counts. Well, that's good to know. Um, as you can see, he's one of the vampires. Um, let's go into Skyrim. Uh, I don't think I have been to Windhelm before. So let's just walk around a bit, see what we can explore here. And return to the Thieves Guild in the morning. So I'm not personally a fa uh, in favor of exploring Skyrim at night. It's still quite beneficial since what else can we do? Yes, of course we can fast travel to locations and get stuff completed. Well in the meantime we could also just explore. Which I am in favor of. Uh, we discovered the stables, but there is also a home here. Oh. There is according to my minimap. And I heard something. Who are you? Fire. A welcome to you, fellow traveler. Welcome to you too? Kajita's wares, if you have coin. Hmm, yeah, thanks. Don't really have to buy anything right now. Uh, Bradley Muck Farm. Well, let's have a look in here. See whether we can meet some, some new people. Uh, you know what? Let's first put away our weapons. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't see many strangers out here. Come to get your hands dirty on a real farm? Hmm, no thanks. Oh, we can read this book though. I hope she didn't mind. I told the book. Well, let's drop it immediately. Hopefully... Did I drop it into the fire? Ah, I think I did. Better than food you've grown yourself. Something magic I've got about earth and sunshine making food. You lead, I'll fall. That wasn't a very helpful visit. Is there anything else we can explore? I see a house or farm over there. But I see... I've been looking for you. Got something oh. I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. From who? Oh no. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thank you. Let's have a look at that note. Um We know. Dark Brotherhood. We just killed uh Oh, we succeeded that quest uh, with that um, boy who was in Windhelm last episode. And since we've already killed uh, Red of the Kind, I've completed the quest immediately. Which was kind of funny because he was really surprised that I actually killed her before he even asked. Like I knew that she should be killed. I didn't know, just wanted to kill her. She seemed like a horrible person and... I thought that she was already from one quest, but I didn't know which one anymore, so I just went ahead. Not knowing that she actually was a important part of the Dark Brotherhood quest line, as in she was the start of the Dark Brotherhood quest line, which means that I cannot get to sleep before I want to start it. I mean, I mean if I go to sleep right now, I... In some trouble because then I. You guys will see in the future. Uh, those who played Skyrim will know what happened. Those who haven't played Skyrim, um, I don't want to spoil the fun for you. So. Just know that I won't be sleeping in a bed for some time. We'll probably do some waiting around instead of sleeping. What do we have here then? Little house here? Traitor's post. Now ain't this a surprise. Oh, I bend it. And I don't see a whole lot. 
Wow, she went down real quick. Some gold, some arrows. Ooh, lockpicks, arrows. Oh, I think Lydia already shot her once or twice. And what do we have here? Someone with a ward. I'm sorry, but you attack me first. Oh, oh, a spell tome. Oak flesh. Don't think I know that spell yet. Um, a circle is always worth quite a bit of money. Let's read the spell tome. Hmm. I do hear someone talking, but... I do not know. It, it didn't sound like Lydia, as in it was a men's talking. Well, there is a bandit stuck here. A bad time to get lost, oh, he's outside. I will come inside if need. I'm a mistake. I don't want a wood plate. I want what's on the wood plate. Will he come around? Ah, he will come around. Ooh, you're a bit higher level than I thought. Look how don't go down so easily. I'll play bait. Lydia, go on. It's not yours. I'm very... Oh, yeah. No wonder he's very strong. He had steel armor and I think he... with. The amount of gold he had, he was one of like the main guys of this building. We can do some waiting here. I mean, I don't see a whole lot. Oh wait, I can just use the spell. I do have a spell, don't I? Oh, I do have a torch. Let's equip the torch then. Can do some exploring with that. Uh, tending rack. Just some chests. Lack of a goat I can take. Cabbage and carrots I'm not the biggest fan of. Anything worth it in here? Oh, chest. Um, don't expect a whole lot to be in here since they are, of course, bandits, but every bit can help and surely we can sell some things that we come across. Ooh, a treasure map and steel boots of stamina. I do not know what boosts my. Big pocket is better. Well, you know what? Let's increase my stamina, shall we? And we found a treasure map. Huh. I do not recognize this, to be honest. We'll keep out of look out of the. If, if you guys know where this is, you, you can let me know in the comments down below. I wouldn't mind uh, knowing that. Um, is there anything else? No, this is. Oh, I just searched the sack. Just flour, I guess. Or tomato. Don't really. Oh, a salt gem and a potion. That's not bad. A hide shield, a shovel. Then search the barrel, though. Lavender. Well, we'll take that. It doesn't wait a whole lot. Mm, I think that's it. I'm pretty darn sure this is it. Uh, some studded armor. Don't think it will sell for a lot. Well, it sells for something. Um, let's equip my shield back on and walk outside and do some more exploring. Because why not? Uh, we can go have a look at the tower over there. I do wonder what's up there. I wouldn't be surprised if a dragon house out there up there as well. It makes me a bit more reluctant to go visit that place. What do we have here? Refugees rest. It's not really so much of a refugee place, I think. It. I mean, I can imagine there used to be like this tower filled of beds and, and just some hides on the ground for people to sleep if they come across the tower. It's just the tower isn't what it's supposed to be anymore. It's completely... Dogs? Wolves? 
people ate my bunny. You don't eat my bunny or my bunny. Good. Love a beat. Where are you? Sweetheart. Where's my bunny? I was fairly certain they got to my bunny. Let's walk away. There yeah, I will be fine. Ooh. What's this? Uh, 40, 20 the star once served as a meeting place where those brave souls who achieved safe passage through Skyrim would find loved ones and leave notice for others who could not be found. Let it stand in honor to those who had the strength and spirit to accept Skyrim's offer, untithed to any taint or hold and self govern with free worship and no compensation to Skyrim or the Empire, except as wit in the uh, arm armistice of old, wheresoever those might still apply, and henceforth let no man or mare say that the sons and daughters of Cain are without mercy or honor. We, the Yasal Skyrim, hereby decreed the site as a monument to struggle of those who fled the native home of Morrowind in the time following the Red Year. So, oh! An ice wolf! That's a bit more daunting, to be honest, than your regular wolf. Um, do we have something to eat? Stamina, stamina, health? Uh, sure, bread, cheese, green apple. That Lydia didn't do any damage to you guys. Um, I'm almost dead again. 10 points of health. 2 points of health. Got a lot of stamina regen. It's not what I wanted. Stamina, health. Well, there went all my... Okay, I hadn't seen any ice wolves. A silver ring, well. Um, let's do some healing. Don't want to die here in the cold. Ah, there is Dover Beat. Level 10. We leveled up. Um, yeah, sure. Let's increase our health a bit. And can we do anything with... Luck? Yes, we can. A bit more block will be nice. Uh, let's keep going. I think Lydia's fine. She will come after us. Yeah, she will. And there's a fox over there. Where are we going, by the way? Where am I walking? Uh, so I'm walking this path to who knows where. Sounds like... Oh! This is the end of the map. Oh, uh, so this is the end to, of the way to Morrowind, I think. Or where people came in from Morrowind. Well, since we explored this bit here, let's just... Go back to our Heath Guild. Uh, since we have to turn in... Uh, kind of the same quest to Vex and uh, Devil... Well, ships are open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. If the ship is closed with the morning, I'll pick the lock and break in. Well, most of the time, if I want to enter a shop, it's because I want to sell stuff. And I don't think breaking and entering into a shop will do me any good since... The, the person I want to sell it to will not be there. If I'm breaking and entering. And I don't fancy the bounty. Yeah, sure. Uh, let me put away my stuff. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. My father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Perhaps they could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. Actually, 
The fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. Understandable. I appreciate that. Well, do I know how the rune looks like? I don't suppose I do. Uh, I can drop this. Hmm. Be seen. My sister and my father. T all he found in my pocket was a tiny, smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange rune. Well, if I have not seen the runes, I cannot be on the lookout for it. That's just the way things are, I suppose. If you want me to go looking for it, you have to give me your necklace or show me the runes so I can draw them. Shall be troubling ya. Yeah? Ooh, nicely done. Here's your share. Uh, extra I had all the fishing, numbers and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If breakings are more your thing, uh, I don't think I've done fishing. People wandering around carrying their valuables on their person, just waiting for someone like you. So, you in for a little nice? Yeah, this is what you need to know. Thank you. Uh, okay, and here she is. Back with good news, I trust. Yep. Fine. I guess you'll need your coin then. Thank you. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up close and personal mm, jobs. Let's go with the next one. Client needs us to eliminate another. We don't operate like the Dark Brotherhood. We find alternate means to get them out of the way. We send you to plant some phony evidence in the Mark's house and then tip off the town guard. The rest takes care of itself. Sound like you can handle it? Absolutely. Fine, just keep it clean. Here you go. Okay, and what did I have to do? Oh, wrong button. For the main quest line. And let's phrase the point to solitude for next destination. Ah, I have to go to solitude. Uh, not really into that. Well, the other two jobs. Uh, wrong button again. Um, Mark Garth, right run. Right run we can do. As long as I don't have to plant the stolen necklace in my own house. I'll be completely fine with it. I don't think it will sleep really nice. I mean, there's like this waterfall right in the center of the room, or th this pond. And all the beds are around it. I mean, it makes quite a bit of noise. I wouldn't be able to sleep in there. Okay, so since we're outside, I'm saying, oh, I can talk to this person here. How can a humble servant of Talos help you today? Uh, I think I already Talos talked to her. What's the blessing of Thalos? Uh... Oh! Really? Talos bless you, my child. So... Ah, this isn't really working. Between shells should be... Zero. Oh, I just interpreted that blessing differently. Huh. Don't really understand it, but that's fine. They're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Well, go ahead, I would say. I mean, I know where the Dawn Guard is. The Dawn Guard is located... Somewhere here. Don't have any... Particularly reason why I want to go there right now. First, let's do this quick job here in White Run. Then I have to go to Markarth or Solitude. Ugh. Now I've got a bit of gold, so we can just use the uh, wagon, the transportation wagon, in order to. Uh, There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be 
good for my class. Oh! Crap! Holy crap! I didn't expect to be attacked by vampires. Oh crap, did I hit a guard? I... This is... What are you? Uh, wrong one again. What is the vampire? Oh. Okay, let's die real quick. Yeah, just hit me once. Thanks. If I'm not mistaken, I'm just walking right inside White Run again. Ah, I saw a Dawn Guard here. Yep, yeah, I was right. There's the castle of Dawn Guard, or Fort Dawn Guard, to be exactly. Um, White Run. I hope I don't come across vampires. The Dungard quest line is really interesting. No vampires? Yes. No vampires? Oh, thank goodness. Um There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. I understand. Why is that? Uh Where do I have to go? Uh, up here somewhere. Lucky for me, it's night, and the only thing I have to worry about are we the gods. something about these vampire attacks. Absolutely, completely agree with you. I mean, you don't really care for your belongings, do you? If you have a novice lock in, on your home, uh, I would at least go for expert or master. Lock. I have to get upstairs somehow. You're not supposed to be here. Can you just go to sleep, old hack? I'm not going to warn you again. Get out, or I'll call the guards. I am outside. Don't worry. Uh, you know what? Let's wait for the day. I already unlocked the door. Um. Six, seven, this should be fine. Then it's daylight, I can just walk in because she's probably outside on the market. Yes. Get away from me. Can I talk to you? Old friend. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Tell me about you. Battleborn is a name out of legend. Some songs of old and heard in deeds of valor for a hundred generations. For clan Battleborn they cry in the mead halls. First into the fray and last to quit their ale. We've got honor. Wealth and titles too. Aye, and buxom women to warm your bed on a cold Skyrim night. Now if that don't answer your question, then no words will. Um, so what's the feud go about? Hey, you laggard, what else? It always comes down to coin. Well, not always. Where Sometimes it comes down about women, or land, so we, or rights. We're rich. <laughs> And Vignar hates it. I don't like oh, you guys. They hate it too. All their big talk of pride and honor. What have they got to show for it? Beggars' rags and stale bread. We've got the same pride, same honor, and we've got wealth. No wonder they envy us. <sighs> you watch yourself out there. Will do. That's an easy trick. Uh, 
that. Where? I mean, it's right here. Right? Um, the stolen necklace. Where is it? Hey, hands off! Um, so we have to do it the other way around. Ulfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm. I mean, I'm sorry for a little boy, it's just that the, the one bounty added. Really? Wait. Did he... I know you. Okay, they ca don't care for one bounty. Um, What's the next part of this? Ooh, shoot. Next part of the quest. I'll return to Vex. Did I scream me? You tried mercenary work? Might suit you. Uh. Oh, there you are. Forbo blade, one of my quest items. Well, quest items. Uh, what items? It's the blade from um, Alice. And it's a lovely weapon. Love it. Simply love it. It's also very, very, very fast. Um, for now. I think I'm going to take a break. I am going to fix this next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell if you want to get updated every time I post a new video. If you have suggestions for Skyrim or if someone of some of you knows why the blessing of status doesn't seem to be working, let me know in the comments down below. Have an awesome day and I see you guys next time.